That's true for you. If you convince yourself that today, next week, month, year, or even the next four to eight years are going to be miserable, a disaster waiting to happen, the worst thing in the world, the end of your well-being and happiness, that we're all going to hell in a handbasket, that the present or the future are a dire threat to you or your children or generations to come, guess what? You're right. Every bit of it is all true for you. I've watched in recent years as some of the most positive and amazing people I know, both personally and professionally, and many others who are outside my personal circle, sunk through their own steps into the quagmire of the 98%. I know many of these people as physical, emotional, and spiritual healers, leaders, professionals, motivators, inspirers, and teachers. Many have resorted and catered and succumbed to the mass consciousness of fear and negativity, with vile name-calling, slandering, all the while leaving their place of peace to stir up and throw additional heat on a collectively negative pot that reached a boiling point long ago. The problem with this behavior and all the energy behind it is that what is slung ultimately splashes back, burning and staining the one slinging it. I have seen the negativity bleed back into every area of their once brilliant lives, from the inside out, affecting their most intimate relationship, their family, friends, businesses, and ultimately, even their own mental and physical health. As I watch their personal tipping point shift, it saddens me because I know so many others who've relied on these amazing folks to be a light in a dark place. I know at times that I have. Heat and pressure bring out what is inside and under the surface of any substance and any person. What we diligently seek, we find. And what we focus on grows. Combined, it's no wonder everything looks bleak for so many, and it's no wonder so many are bombarded and immersed with negativity. Listen, there was a time that all hell was breaking loose in my own life. Everything that could go wrong was. And after much soul-searching, thought and time in the mirror, I realized that there was only one main and common denominator. It wasn't my circumstances. It wasn't my relationship. It wasn't my friends or lack of friends. It wasn't my in-laws or my president or my job or boss or parents or children. It was me. I decided if I didn't like what was going on in my world that I could change it first and most importantly by changing me. Now, I won't say that because I changed my attitude that everything in the world magically changed and that I haven't had a shitty day since. But I can say this. When I decided to come up from the fray, I felt a hell of a lot less like I and the rest of my world was going to unravel. And when I honestly addressed the issues I had and sincerely and consistently ran at the necessary changes for my thoughts, feelings, and actions... My life did change, radically, and quite rapidly. And it affected the way I saw the rest of the world. And my world did change, so much so that the changes in the world that scare or bother about 98% of folks don't scare or bother me nearly as much anymore. But when it does, I have to come back to what I know. How I view my world is a reflection of me, not the other way around. So here's your challenge. Look at your last 10 or 15 Facebook posts. Listen to your words and how you use your voice. Step back. Take an honest look at what and how you think on a regular basis. Listen to your own brain banter and your conversations with yourself and others. Pay attention to what you watch, read, share, comment on and listen to on a regular basis and then ask yourself 
Is all of this energy I'm expending in this particular area, is all of this talking, reading, listening, watching, posting, scrolling, arguing, is all of it really leading me toward a better version of me? Is what I'm doing, is what I'm involved in, in this discussion, in this relationship, in the time, emotion, and energy consumption, making me and those around me more positive, happy, healthy, rewarded, grateful, growing, giving, or amazing? A negative attitude doesn't just affect you. Would you really want to be around you right now? Would you want to be in a relationship with you? Would you want to do business with you? Would you trust yourself in the care of you? Would you want to be the recipient of the energy that you're exuding? If things aren't going well in your once positive world, it may be time to get your eyes off the external, off what you think is the problem, out there, in the world, and start looking inward for your change. It may be time for a reset of your thinking. It rains and shines on us all. We all have great days and awful days, We all have death and sickness and leaders we despise and breakups and losses and deals gone bad. And if you focus on those things for very long, I promise soon that will be all you'll see. And what a shame that will be when all that you choose to focus on so overshadows the brilliant light in you that someone near you who looks up to you and needs so badly to experience your unique brilliance, is unable to for all the self-imposed darkness covering it. As I said earlier, heat and pressure bring out what's inside and under the surface of any substance and any person. What you diligently seek, you find, and what you focus on grows. You can turn your thoughts, feelings, and actions around And turn your life and your world around when you take a close and objective look at what difficulty has brought you as a gift to your own surface and attention. You can diligently seek things to be thankful for, things to love, things to desire that are good for you. And you can shift your focus to what truly serves you and what serves those dear ones around you. Your world will begin to change just as soon as you make up your mind. If you'd like to hear more inspiring messages, support our mission to leave people better at dawnandlucky.com. To receive every recording and writing we produce, access to our private group full of inspiring folks from all around the world, to get the inside scoop and pre-releases on Amazing Living podcasts and videos, and access to exclusive Facebook Live events, please be sure to pledge at the partner or higher level at dawnandlucky.com.